Most of the products on display here at the Hong Kong Electronics Fair are practically unusable for the 1.6 billion people, a quarter of the world's population, living without electricity. In sunny Africa and South Asia, which have the lowest electrification rates, cheaper and more efficient solar cells are in demand. And innovation is occurring, says Zhang Zhaojun, whose company in Guangzhou makes solar panels, chargers and lighting systems. To improve competitiveness of our products, we are working on increasing battery performance. We are using printed circuit board to cut energy losses. Secondly, we are increasing the electrical conversion efficiency of solar panels. This is possible because we are utilizing special new materials and techniques for our panel production line. One of the challenges of solar power, of course, is what do you do when the sun isn't shining? There are innovative solutions, such as this one, a hybrid system that relies not only on solar, but also wind power for street lamps. It is already operational in Shenzhen, China, and Germany. In North America and Europe, more expensive crystalline silicon technology is preferred for high-power limited space installations. In the developing world, top ray solar's Frank Lin says cheaper thin film technology is favored. That means they can pay for the same power with less money. Well, of course the disadvantage will be like a, a bigger size. But bigger size is not an issue for the African, for the developing countries, because they have that kind of uh, space. And usually what they use is smaller applications. Right. The price is, uh, is good. More affordable products for daily use in places off the grid are coming to market. Solar flashlights on display here are being sold on a wholesale basis for as little as 35 cents each. This detachable LED shines up to 20 hours when fully charged and retails for under $100. Solar power globally is reaching new heights every year. Solar industry officials say installations reached a record high of more than 18 gigawatts last year, but the top market remains Europe. It is estimated only 1% of the world's solar panels are in the developing world. Steve Herman, VOA News, Hong Kong.